Hey, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Rob back with a quick video. Now, I did tell you in, a, in my unboxing of the Mac Mini M4 Pro that I wanted to get an external uh, drive. And I did a little research and I kind of narrowed my choices down to the OWC Express. Now, I, now you can pretty much get these if you want with the internal storage already built in, but I got it uh, where it was no storage inside. Uh, I wanted to shop around, find my own uh, NVMe uh, storage card to put in it. And uh, and I pretty much found one that I was looking for. I, I, I used it before in my PlayStation 5 uh, to expand my storage, my PlayStation 5. And I went with the WD Black two terabyte storage NVMe. So I decided to use this and I got this at Best Buy. Uh, it was on sale for, I think it was 135, but uh, I'll, I'll see if I can find the link for it. But I got it on sale and this, this OWC Express enclosure by itself without any type of uh, internal storage goes for 119. So the whole package was uh, under 250. Well, no, it was about 250. I'll take it back, a little over 250. <laughs> so the whole package was pretty much a little bit over 250. And now, but like I said, to buy one terabyte of storage that's already uh, built inside of this costs the same as me having a two terabyte. So, you know, like I said, you can see there's bargains to be had, you know, if you get the, uh, the, the enclosure by itself and then shop around for your uh, internal storage. Now on the website, on, on the uh, OWC Express website, they do have a breakdown of the payments as you go up. Uh, like I said, the one terabyte was 249. A two terabyte was $400. And then if you try to go a four terabyte with the enclosure, it's 629. So you see how it's easy to pretty much just buy the enclosure and then you shop around for your storage. Just get yourself a way better deal. Uh, so I went ahead, got everything put together. It's real simple to put this, uh, to put your storage into this wasn't very hard. So this is an aluminum, it has a heat sink enclosure, so it disperses heat. Uh, like I said, it is ultra compatible with USB 4, Thunderbolt, and USB-C computers. Uh, has its own, comes with a tool inside, so this, when I install, install this, got your own little cable, Thunderbolt 4. And you got these little stickers where you can place on the bottom of it so you don't have to lay it on the table completely and scratch up any type of surface you may have. Made of aircraft aluminum. The installation is not that complicated. Here's your USB uh, 4. You're supposed to get, get up to 40 gigabits of uh, transfer speed with this. And this is like the light indicator let you know that it's on. Unloosening the two screws on the bottom. Now get this enclosure off. I got it unscrewed. Got to lift this up and slide back. Lift, slide back. This right here is where you're gonna install. Gotta match the pins up with the actual um, connection. Very self-explanatory though. Clicks in and then it kind of stays up like that. Now I should have gotten a screw that came with this. Let me see if it's inside. All the screws on the board. Make sure you take this screw out first. I kind of did it backwards. Now I took the screw that was on the, the little small motherboard right here. You hold that down. The screw is magnetic too, so it should stick to the screwdriver. Everything is good, everything's in place. I got a good solid connection. Place this back on. It's got two little divots right here on the bottom. That's where you're gonna slide, slide this part in, these two little notches that are that are out. Slide forward, lay it down. Get the two original screws that you took out earlier. Place them back in, uh, in the 
in the opening. And there you have it. it once I got everything inside and uh, set up, uh, I went over to the computer and pretty much just formatted it for, for my for my Apple computer. And the speeds on this are incredible. It was matching the speeds of a, a M1 Mac. So this is something that I think if you're trying to save money on uh, an external storage, this, this is the way to go. Don't pay the Apple price. Uh, you can pretty much put together uh, something like this and save yourself hundreds of dollars. Yes, I do have some other uh, NVMe style SSDs that are pretty fast and I'm gonna do another video testing all testing the ones that I do have. I have another one from OWC and I have one from SanDisk that has incredible speed. I wanna put up against this enclosure. Also, Sabrent uh, has one that's coming out. I think uh, you can pre-order it today. That's, uh, that's specifically for Thunderbolt 5. This is for Thunderbolt 4, but the uh, Mac Mini is backwards compatible. And I'm quite sure if they come out with a Thunderbolt 5, enclosure i will be picking that up without any doubt and i might be selling this if i do get that but that's another story but uh, uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just rock with this as my external storage for video editing that's basically what i got it for i try to save my internal storage for like personal family business i'm gonna use my internal storage on my computer for that use this for all my youtube and, and uh, other uh other things that have something to do with social media but um, again thanks for watching this video pretty much does it if you have any questions leave it down below if you like this video thumbs up subscribe other than that catch everybody in the next